It can lead to a lack of career progression, um, leadership training, um, and all the little things that. Do you just leave that there because the Home Affairs Minister has just started a media conference. Well, thanks for being here. Uh, I wanted uh, today, firstly, to say thank you very much uh, to, uh, to Steve Osborne. Uh, Steve is uh, an incredible servant of the Australian people. He has a long and distinguished career uh, with Air Force and he's been in charge of Operation Sovereign Borders for the last couple of years. It has been a difficult period at times because, as you know, Operation Sovereign Borders comprises of 16 agencies and there is a lot of work that goes behind the scenes that the Australian people never see. So intelligence, gathering, working with international partners, it is a very significant role and Steve has uh, done a tremendous job and he now moves out of that position uh, and Craig Farini uh, will come in as the general now in charge uh, uh, of Operation Sovereign Borders. Uh, Craig similarly has a very distinguished career with the Australian Army and will come in uh, to the role as of uh, Friday of this week and he will continue the work uh, uh, by commenced uh, under uh, General Campbell um, but continued under others uh, including Air Vice Marshal Osborne and it has been a very successful period as you know. In Operation Sovereign Borders uh, since the commencement we've had 34 returns. Uh, we've had a return of, of over 800 illegal maritime arrivals back to their country of departure or origin. Uh, we've had disruption from our international partners of 79 people smuggling ventures affecting over 2,500 illegal maritime arrivals with 616 people arrested by regional law enforcement authorities. So Operation Sovereign Borders has been a significant success and it can continue to be, to be into the future. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Steve to make a few comments uh, uh, and then Craig and then we'll be happy to, to, uh, to take some questions. Steve. Thank you, Minister, for your uh, kind words. Uh, I will be brief. I really only have three things that uh, I would like to say. The first of that is, as the Minister said, uh, Operation Sovereign Borders success does not come down to one person. There are a lot of agencies and departments across all of government that make a major contrib uh, contribution to, uh, to keeping the borders uh, secure and stopping people drowning at sea. But I'd like to give a special thank you and a special acknowledgement to the Joint Agency Task Force who work immediately for me and will soon work immediately for, uh, for Craig. Uh, I just need to pass my thanks to them for a, for a job well done. Uh, second point I would like to do, of course, is to, uh, to recognise uh, Craig, uh, General Farini. Uh, he's uh, no doubt got a lot of work ahead of him. I've got every confidence in his ability, of course, and uh, I wish him all the best for the future. And last but not least, um, while I am pleased to say that uh, Operation Sovereign Borders has continued to be successful, it is something that we should not become complacent about. As I've said on a number of times before, the people smuggling threat is suppressed. We certainly could not call it defeated. Thank you, Minister. Thanks, Steve. Thanks very much. Craig. Yeah, thank you, Minister, and good morning. Look, I understand the importance of Operation Sovereign Borders to our national security, so I appreciate the trust and faith that is being shown in me by appointing me as the commander of the Joint Agency Task Force. It's early days for me, and I'll likely have more to say in due course, but for now I'd like to, to thank Air Vice Marshal uh, Osborne, Steve, uh, for your leadership and command over the last two years, and to make clear my commitment to continuing to deliver uh, the Operation Sovereign Borders mission and to continue his good work. And finally, I'd like to emphasise that while we have a new commander, nothing has changed. And to anyone contemplating an illegal maritime entry to Australia, the message is don't. On my watch, you'll be intercepted and returned. So thank you. Thanks, Craig. All right, Ted, do we have any questions uh, for either Steve or Craig? And then uh, once they've answered their questions, I might ask them to step away and I'll take questions otherwise. Well, clearly that's, uh, that's going to be a question that I'll have to be cautious in how I uh, 
choose my words. Um, because I'm highly aware that it's politically charged at the moment, and the reality is, and I think I, I, I read in one of your articles, and it was quite correct, that you can't disassociate government policy from the broader OSB policy. So I will give the answer that I would normally give in this situation uh, and repeat that the events that happen in Australia, whether it's in the media, whether it's on the floor of parliament, or whether it's in Senate estimates, or wherever, wherever it is, they are watched very carefully by people overseas, both the people smugglers and the people that might use their services. OK, we'll leave that there. That was live from Parliament House in Canberra. The Home Affairs Minister announcing the new boss of the effort to stop people smugglers sending boats of asylum seekers to Australia. The new boss is Craig Farini. The Minister saying he has a distinguished career in the Australian Army. OK, uh, let's take a look at the weather now. Here is James Han Hancock.